Who is starting first? Ladies first. Uh, my name is Queen Joy. And I am Ruben Boje. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so. Thought of bleaching my skin? Yeah. Oof, no, I have never thought of bleaching my skin. I didn't know it was a thing until like a few years ago. And even then I was like, goodness, interesting. But yeah. Yes, unfortunately, uh, when I was younger and I lived in the Philippines, someone actually told me like, oh my God, Ruben, you look so much hotter if you were much lighter. And back then it didn't hit me that, oh, that's what just happened. But uh, like a few years later, I was like, oh my goodness. I was messed up low key, but it's okay. I'm over <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. What about you? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, people have always told me I'm perfect, thank you. So. What a world. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, okay, there was once I went to the bank and the queue was so much they were looking for people to uh, put on the queue and they were like you find your come to the front and i was like oh my god <laughs> so yeah because of that i left on time i guess <laughs> hell no you are perfect just the way you are okay uh i i don't think i have i actually have a sister that is like dark she's really dark she's almost as dark as you are and she 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 has friends come over to our house and they'll be like oh my god your sister is so fine and i think to an extent it kind of got to her oh. so i keep i always tell her that you're beautiful like, because to me she's so fine mm -hmm. like it's just maybe yeah, it's the, the difference they're seeing in color but it doesn't change the fact that she looks as i look so i encourage her because of their color jeez no that's no, that's harsh. I don't think I've ever, I don't think that's what first catches my eye when I meet somebody. No, so I don't think so. I don't also think I've been in that situation. Yeah. yeah. To say, no, I'm not going to date you strictly because of, of your, the color of your skin. Right. That's, that's messed up. No, surprisingly, I don't think people are that bold. I don't know how to say that. I don't know if people are that <laughs> like bold to just come out and I say see, I can't. I maybe they will have it at the back of their mind or something, but Yeah, to just outrightly say it. That's rude. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think so, no. Aha. That is no 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 no. That's too much. A baby especially, no, that's beyond messed up. You would have to have like deep rooted issues, I think, to not carry a baby. Damn. Except the baby cries too much. I don't think. I don't think he. Say <laughs> <laughs> so, you no, know, you're too dark. I can't carry <laughs> you. Now. That's messed up. Ah. <laughs> I think I've seen someone actually do that. Not carry a baby because mm. the person needs to go to church or something. <laughs> I don't think so, at least I hope not, because um, in the States, you hear stories like this, that people turn you down because of the color of your skin, and they don't say outrightly, but I do not think I have been turned down because of the color of my skin. I hope not. Uh, for me, I think I've seen jobs that say you have to be, um, you have to have a certain complexion, like you have to be light skinned. So I don't, I don't think it applies to me, but mm -hmm. I've seen something like that because I'm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Like not smart enough because of the color of the skin. Um, no, I don't think I've ever judged someone because of that. No, I don't think so. To say that you're not smart because of the color of the skin, no, I don't think so. Uh, maybe I didn't do it the right way or maybe I was too young but there was this time when I was coming back from boarding school and me and some of my friends from school we had we were involved in an accident and they took us to the hospital and when we got there there were a lot of doctors and I told them that I wanted um, a particular doctor to attend to me because she was non-Nigerian she was like um, from another race or something and maybe because I felt she knew what she was doing or something. I was really young then, but that's the only time I think I've done 
something like that. Jobs are pressing by their complexion. What does that have to do with the person? Oh. No. No. Just to see. So that's why he's acting this way. This way. I've judged people, Sha, from their look, not the complexion. <laughs> Like, so just was like, yeah, no correct, I know. Yeah. No, no. yeah, I don't think complexion is the complexion. first thing that comes to mind when you look at someone. Mm. Unless you're just always looking for that, you know. So, no. No, I love my shade of color. If anything, I would wish I'd be a little bit darker. But Actually, I love... me, I, 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 I wondered once how I would look like if I was dark. But mm. for my skin color, I, I think I'm okay with it. My mom did make me question it. Um, when I was younger though because you know moms have like African parents have a tendency to say oh you know you're looking too dark go do something <laughs> or, so when I was young I did for a second think huh I wonder what I would look like if I was light skinned or a different race or something but I've grown to love myself and I appreciate it so yeah I've, I've, every time yeah. they're like queen if you go out <laughs> and the sun hits you, you're going to get dark, this, da, da, da. Yeah. You want your skin to keep glowing and so And I don't see what that has, has to do with anything. anything. There was a time in like middle school where um, we had like a sports day and played so much soccer. And when I got back home, no, I think it was just that whole week. People made fun of me because I was like, two tones darker and it was kind of weird i didn't know mm. even this day. morning when i was going to the gym like i met this uber guy and he told me that when he went to ghana <laughs> that like he was looking like an ajay but when he got dead because of the sun he was not looking like midnight <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> so i think like people have uh, like this consciousness of their like their skin if they tone. go out in the sun they're going to look dark and so it's a bad thing or something because mm -hmm. for him to say he actually looked nice before he got there it's somehow it's a weird mentality yeah, yeah. No, I no, think I think it's beautiful yeah, when I see I that it lifts me I've seen dark yes. people on magazine that really look so nice and I'm like wow Lupita Nyong keep doing your thing I love you okay mm. sorry sorry but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I think dark is actually beautiful because I actually like guys that are dark skin so <laughs> I love it. I guys too. Oh no, my God. Caught slipping, caught slipping. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've been talking colorism. Yeah. My name is Ruben. And my name is Queen. This is Sip Dip. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.